Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you are going to learn about unit root test. In time series analysis, before applying regression or predicting the models, we first have to check whether the time series of the variable is stationary or not. So, unit root test particularly used to check the stationarity of the time series. With the help of this test, we can detect whether the time series of the variable is stationary or non-stationary. So, let's understand the concept of stationarity first. Statistically, a time series is said to be stationary when properties of the distribution such as mean, variance, covariance are constant over time. It means they are not changing. They are not changing over time. They are constant. In other words, um, in more simpler words, when there is no trend in the time series, it is known as a stationary series. So in order to understand more, we can see the graphical illustration of uh, stationary and non-stationary series. So the first one, the first graph is about stationary time series. And the second one is of non-stationary time series. As you can see in the first graph, uh, there, is a, there is a data of one variable. Here you can see there is no trend. Right there is a bit fluctuation, but there is no trend. The data is mean reverting. Right, it is reverting to the mean and then it is increasing and then again it is reverting to mean. Right, so we can say that this, uh, this particular uh, series has no trend, right? It is mean reverting. On the contrary, um, non-stationary time series, as you can see in the in the second graph, you can see the trend. There is some downward trend. Something was increasing and now it is decreasing, right? So in the second graph, you can see the trend. So here. With the help of these charts, with the help of these graphs, we can conclude that the series which has trend, it is known as non-stationary series and the series which has no trend, it is known as stationary series. So why it is important to determine stationary property of the time series? It is very necessary to detect stationary property of the time series before carrying out the regression analysis before reporting the result of regression because if the time series is non-stationary it means when the time series or variable is uh, non-stationary they have trend the result of regression will become spurious so spurious means that there is uh, the result does not make any sense it is meaningless Right? So that is why it is very important to detect uh, the stationary property of the series that whether the series is stationary or non-stationary and then afterward we can apply regression. So in order to apply regression analysis we have to make the series stationary. Right? So for example if the series is not a stationary and normally in time series data when we download data from different secondary sources we uh, normally we find uh, non-stationary time series right so if this is the case then what we can do how we can solve the problem how we can convert the non-stationary series into a stationary series so there is one method known as differencing with the help of this method we can stabilize the mean of the time series and after stabilizing the mean of the time series this will remove or eliminate the trend from the data. So with the help of this differencing series, we can remove or we can eliminate the trend in the data series. So let's apply unit root in eViews. Let's see how we can apply. Okay, so I am going to use this file. In eViews, first of all, you have to create a work file. So in order to learn, uh, that how you can create work file, how you can import the data and enter the data manually, you can watch my another video in that I have explained each of the methods. 
right so as you can see this work file there are multiple folders in it c represents intercept and resid it represents residual error right and here you can see there are multiple um, other folders fdi gdp imports remittances these are my variables so before regressing these variable before applying regression on this model i am going to first check the stationary property of these variable whether they are stationary or non stationary so in order to apply a unit root test uh, i am going to check uh, stationary property of each variable one by one right so i am using fdi first i am going to check uh, the stationary property of fdi first so let's open the folder of fdi go to view and unit root test okay under the heading of test type you can see there is a drop down list um, and these are multiple methods but i am going to use augmented dickey fuller normally known as adf and here there are multiple options level first difference intercept trend and intercept so i am going to check the status of the series uh, at level as well as at first difference so level is the time series the actual time series the data i have directly downloaded from some secondary sources okay this is the actual data and the first difference data uh, is the data that we calculate right we calculate the first difference of the actual data so um if you remember differencing first differencing second differencing or differencing is one of the method through which we can stabilize the time series and after stabilizing the series we can eliminate trend we can remove trend from the series right so i am going to apply um i am going to apply unit root at level and at first difference both right so let's see how i am applying i'm going to check level and intercept and then press okay so this is the probability value that you are going to report right so this is the value of level and intercept and then again you have to go to view unit root test now there is another option trend and intercept just check this option and press okay so for level you have to check for trend and for trend and intercept and for first difference you have to follow the same procedure you have to first check intercept and then trend and intercept and you have to report this probability value so i have already uh, applied unit root test on fdi and imports so let's see the result so this is the procedure that uh, for one variable you have to apply unit root four times two times for uh, two times at level and two times at first difference so this is the result this is the result i have applied unit root at level uh, c represents intercept and c and t trend and intercept right and at first difference uh, both at Uh, intercept and trend and intercept and these are the probability values so let's see how we can interpret the result for interpretation first of all we have we have to see the null hypothesis of unit root test which is there is a unit root it means that the time series is non stationary so if the probability value is less than equal to 5% we will reject this hypothesis null hypothesis so let's see what is the result and how we can interpret okay so this is the result of unit root test and um, we know that the rule of thumb is that if the probability value is less than 5% equal to and less than 5% we reject null hypothesis and null hypothesis says uh, that the time series is non stationary it means there is there is a trend right so here um, 
after seeing the probability values we can conclude that the the data series of fdi is non is stationary at level and stationary at first difference whereas the data series of import uh, is non stationary at level and stationary at first difference so why i am concluding like this because uh, in the data series of imports uh, at level you can see the probability value is greater than 5% right it is 10% and it is 25% so that that is why i am concluding that the data series of imports at level is non stationary right and it is stationary at first difference because the value is less than 5% so this is the way you can interpret the output of unit root test thank you